Look at that. Instant conversion, 70K, and that's exactly what you want. All right, everybody, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody is feeling fine today. And today we're going to be doing something special. We're going to do, uh, well, not do, but we're going to talk uh, about boosting and how to make, uh, you know, good old pollen. Um, the grindy way uh, in early mid game, I would say. Um, for the people who don't know my channel, I uh, used to be end game account got banned, and now I am back, trying to build myself back up. This is basically a new to pro series. Now, obviously, uh, with stickers uh, being introduced, you know, they it, it's been really good uh, for early mid game players. Obviously, later on, it's going to cost a little bit too much. Uh, but especially for the beginning, you know, if you just gotten into the game or if you just hit uh, early mid game, first of all, let's identify what early mid game and what mid game is. So basically, um, I would call myself early mid game, obviously, because I finished all of this stuff uh, on mountaintop. Let's actually I just did it. Uh, wrong dash here dash a rooney so wait let me let me get up here and do that and let's go into mountaintop get not hit by mondo and um yeah so if you got everything in here um and you already started doing quests and everything and you kind of get, get like into the billions range millions to billions like hundreds of millions to billions uh like i'm in here like 350 million and so forth i would say you're in early mid game uh, might be already some people would already consider this mid game, but I you know, I don't um, You actually really uh, be to become uh, mid game once you get into the bad shop, which is right over here and um, If you're actually buying all of these things in here, you have the honey mask You have the cobalt guard uh, the honeycomb belt uh, the crimson guard and the honey mask obviously um, if you've done that I would say and maybe you could consider uh, consider yourself mid game yeah I think that's fine so if you only have one or two pieces of those that's early mid game and uh, yeah that's basically the best way of describing uh, on how to get to you know good old uh, mid game now the next question is how do you actually farm because I can see uh, many people that have such messed up hives and they don't really uh, focus on the things that you should especially in mid game because they think that um oh yeah i'm early mid game it's a good way uh to just choose a hive color now for example and that is absolutely false you want to do that in the end game you don't want to do it in mid game because you have so many different quests going on um and you want to just be able to finish all of them like how are you gonna do uh let's say 350 million blue pollen if you have a red hive How's that gonna work? How's that gonna look? Uh, it's not gonna look very rosy. It's not gonna not gonna help you uh, in any form. So I'm just gonna show you how I set up my hive. Um, I do think I'm kind of where I need to be currently. Obviously, it would be nice if I had my hive uh, leveled up to nine. That would be the best way probably possible right now. But as as you know, I am a little lazy when it comes to that. Uh, let's bring these guys up to level 8. Uh, we have one here. Maybe I'm lucky and I can get this guy up as well. Nice. So my entire hive now is up on level 8 right now. Um, you get the treats by just playing the game. Honestly, you get a lot of treats and just make sure to use them if you really want to push hardcore uh you could technically uh farm up a billion or something and then you know uh you know just buy treats but whatever uh let's talk about the hive real quick uh i've made some changes obviously you can see i have 38 bees right now i'm pushing towards 40 very soon um as soon as i have the time of course uh <laughs> wait let me actually just click something away here because i can't see my recording there you go um okay so uh, i'm trying to because when you're starting to farm uh you don't want to always want to go back to your hive here and there here and there here and there you want to like minimize that as possible and make instant conversion happening so you have to kind of like start looking at your hive and that is where many people fail because many people will uh you know try to you know just like just wing it yeah i'm just gonna take three of those two of those these of those and if you do that uh you're just like hindering your process and it's gonna just take some more time it's just gonna double your time so uh yeah again you don't want to do bomb pollen i don't know why people try to argue with me over this um usually it's people that really are below mid game uh that think bomb uh, pollen are good but it's not uh, you want to uh, minimize bomb pollen as much as possible uh, just because you want the instant conversion and you want to instantly already uh, fill up your honey uh, while you're on the field and then obviously at one point your pollen gets uh, boosted up here and then you have to obviously go and empty your backpack. Uh, another very important thing is uh, capacity. If you have only like if you're at my stage right now and you only have like 2 million or something backpack capacity it's not good enough. 
So you have to really focus on how to get uh, capacity. I might actually make a video on that. But anyways, um, Brave Bee, uh, I got in there for the bee attack. It's gifted. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't run it really very much. Um, it's really good for the for the bosses to like take down the bosses and everything. Uh, same goes for the Bumble. Uh, it does have bomb, uh, you know, but I only have one of them in, in it as far as I believe. And I take it because of the capacity. Very important gifted hive bonus. Uh, same goes for the hasty bee. Just get to play at movement speed because we're so goddamn slow. Every time you see a star here, it means I have it gifted. And you should too. If you don't have enough gifted, you should definitely farm some cash. And then, uh, you know, roll out those royal jellies until gifted. Um, here's some critical power uh, as well. Focus as well. Um, very important. I got a few looker bees. You should get, uh, get a few looker bees in there as well. Um, focus tokens are just really good. Gives you critical chance. Um, and it hits increased pollen and damage by 100%. Very strong, very powerful stuff. Red be really good. Can't have another of those. Um, if you have three or four of those, keep them. They're fine. You get red boost. Uh, red percent pollen, very important as well. Same goes for Rascal. Um, red bomb pollen, uh, you know, Rascal, uh, you see the red bomb here, but I do uh, have, I think, as far as I believe, one in it uh, for the Gifted Hive, which also gives you red bomb. Uh, pollen, but I do keep it because I uh, did a red uh, mission. I did a quest and I didn't get uh, get enough, so I use this. But I will definitely um, take that out in my next spins of Royal Jelly. So the rascal will go just for everybody to know. Um, uh, Stubborn Bee, yeah, pretty good. Uh, keep it if you have one. If you don't, doesn't really matter. I mean, it does give you pollen mark, but you can get it otherwise. If you get it gifted, though, that's really good. Ability token lifespan, 20% is huge. So do that and keep it. Uh, how many minutes are we in? Six minutes. Okay, Bubble Bee, same again. Um, I used it for uh, thingy me bobs. You can see for, for quest lines. Uh, blue bombs, I will definitely replace the bubble as well because it does give you the 50% bubble pollen, which is okay. Later on, also, if you're going to do a blue hive, very, very powerful stuff. But um, just for now, Bubble Bee is not like... Mm, I'm not going to be like, wow, this is my best gifted that I have right now. Uh, let's go to Bucko. Bucko is really good. Blue boost, blue uh, field capacity. I have it gifted as well. Very lucky. So I do get more uh, capacity in blue fields. Don't have a commander. You could have a commander um, for the focus tokens and the critical chance if you have it gifted. But just to have it run around like that, I would just try to not use it for the buzz bomb. So just don't go for it. Um, no demo B, no exhausted B. Um, exhausted because uh, buzz bomb as well. I would keep it if it would be uh, gifted for the wide field capacity. I would keep it um, because wide field is uh, wide field is usually the one that is kind of lacking a little bit in early mid game or mid game. So yeah, I do have the fire bean here as well. Uh, I will replace that as well. Uh, you know, at one point. So I'm just you know just chills there basically. But I'm probably gonna replace it as soon as I have cash. Um, honeybee, really good. Uh, 1.5 honey from tokens, very nice. Uh, rage bee, uh, rage uh, token links uh, are good. Rage uh, thingies are good. Uh, plus one bee attack is very good, especially for mid game players. Um, same goes for Riley bee. You can have quite a few of those if you want to. I have two now, you can have four, up to you. Um, shark bee, again, if you get that, 25% uh, white pollen, very good. Haste, very good. Token link, very good. This is a good B. So if you can get it, um, you know, by, uh, you know, gifted, it's going to help you out a lot. Mm, baby B, very important. Gives you baby love. Very good stuff. Uh, also, loot luck, 25%. Very good. I have six carpenters in here, which some people think is a little bit too much. And I've been doing very well with it because I want that instant conversion on the field. So you get the honey mark, you get the pollen mark, and somewhere it's like uh, gonna convert while you stand in it. There it is, conversion links and 1.25 convert rate while you stand in it stacks up to three times. Really good. So that's why I keep the carpenter bees. They've been helping me out a lot. So if you want to stock up on those and you don't have any, for example, you will see a huge difference using that. Um, no de uh, demon bee, one diamond, is it gifted? No, it's not. Okay, so blue boost, honey gift, and the passive, very good. Um, and it even doubles when it's gifted, so very nice if you have that. Uh, lion bee, not using it, don't need it currently, uh, you know. Music bee, uh, very good as well. Pollen from bee gathering, I think I even have it. Oh, I don't, okay. Uh, yeah, 25% pollen from bee uh, gathering good melody tokens, very strong focus tokens, very strong token links, very strong. Also, one of 
the top five, top three Bs in the entire game, uh, especially for mid game. Music B, really strong. Uh, Ninja B, uh, yeah, not having that. Shy B, not having that. Bouillon B, I just drew that. Um, obviously, if I want to make a blue hive in the future, you want to stock up on those guys and the tadpole bees but in this case you know ju i just have it uh it really helps out with the capacity if i had it gifted too <laughs> but i don't um but the inflate balloons is really good it gives me like double the size of my um you know my capacity which is strong very strong and then you know you have these i do have the berry a little bit of pay to win in this one and uh, we have photon very good bee as well and of course a very important one where is it wait Tabby, there it is. Tabby love on 304 goes up to a thousand. So yeah, permanently grants Tabby B 1% gather amount, convert amount, and pollens from scratch stacks up to a thousand. So this is what I'm currently rocking. Uh, and when I'm really like buffed up, I can make a hundred mils, a uh, hundred million within like I don't know, not even 10 minutes, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. So if I'm really uh, stocked up, and that is the thing with early to mid game, you don't want to waste your resources for boosting. Keep everything, unless you have to do like goo quests or something. You can use those guys. You can use uh, that as well. I'm also working up to the gummy bee next. So yeah, it's really important, man. Really, really important stuff. You do want to keep the gum drops. Very important. Keep the gum drops if you can. If you can't, and you have like some stupid goo quest, or you have a friend that has the gummy bee. Like my girlfriend has the gummy bee, so we can actually help each other out, which is very nice. And you can see immediately, I can almost stock up to like 100k damage, which by just like, I'm not even buffed or anything. And you can see it's already going up to 100k, 120k. You can see, so this is really, really good in my, oh, 145k. I mean, on this field, I almost have 6 million. So you can see how much I can do like this. I'm not buffed. I don't use any sticker buffs, nothing at all. And I'm doing almost 40k instant conversions, which is just really strong. And I'm not even trying hard. I don't have any speed buffed up. I don't have any instant conversion links buffed up. No baby love, you know. Oh, wait, actually, I do have one. Um, but in general, you can see that this way of making that uh, is really good. But I'm still not there because my backpack, that's 200k without being buffed. That's a lot, you know, so uh, yeah, I, I still do believe I still have too many bombs and not enough uh, instant conversion. But like I said, I'm just in the early uh, mid game, uh, you know, process. Uh, another thing that you can do also is I use sometimes use uh, tickets. People say you shouldn't and I kind of agree. But other than that, man, I make a lot of honey. I can make a lot of honey very quick. You can see the instant conversion here going up to 70k, 100k in a second probably. Oh no, it stays at 170, 90, 100k, there it is. Okay, we at least peaked a little bit. There we go, <laughs> let's go. But yeah, um, I can make a lot of honey uh, in a short amount of time if you actively play. Obviously this build is not really for macroing right now. I would say because you do have to go still a lot to the hive and maybe there's some other things you can do and change but as you can see I just for me it's just important to make honey a lot of honey as fast as possible and if I have my um, balloon ready uh, you will see that my capacity skyrockets to like I don't even know man like 8 mil 9 mil something I can make almost each run 10 million which is good which is good for early mid game and yeah Make sure to have that. Uh, in my next uh, episode, we're going to be uh, checking out on uh, how to uh, analyze, how to analyze which fields are the best for you. Um, keeping it as level as possible, uh, you know, with your stats, because there's some stat analysis that you can do because every hive will look different. Every hive kind of works different as well. So uh, we're going to be doing that in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Look at that skyrocketing up there. That's crazy. There's not even a times two boost or anything. Imagine Beastmas happening very soon. That's crazy. Like easy 100Ks, easy 100Ks. And that's exactly what you want in early mid game. Like 200K, 250 almost. That's crazy, everybody. This is so good. I mean, so yeah, try to copy the build if you want to make a lot, a lot, a lot of honey. And uh, you can see the instant conversion is up to 70k almost. Look at that. Instant conversion 70k. And that's exactly what you want. Even higher up to 90 I almost saw. And there's my hive full again. Like I said, capacity here is going to be the OG, the MVP. So yeah, make sure to follow that. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one. Peace out.